Hello, good day. So uh, here we are again in our tutorial regarding Microsoft Teams. Now to be specific, what we're going to do now is uh, on how to download the automatic attendee list or the auto attendee list generation of the Microsoft Teams live event and also to download the recording of the Teams live event because unlike in the scheduled meeting, where in the scheduled meeting recording is automatically uh, or automatically appears in your in your stream uh, in Teams Live event, you need to download first the recording and then upload it back again in the Microsoft stream. So uh, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we go to the calendar where in your Teams Live event happened. The, for example, the leadership webinar series that happened uh, October 28. So I'll go there. And then in the live event resources, we will be able to see there the recording, the Q&A report, the attendee engagement report, and the recording for attendees is disabled. And the advanced option is there is also backup recording in case the recording here does not play there's actually a backup recording the same or the, almost the same with the recording up here so simple is uh, the simple task that you're going to do is just to click the recording so it will download the recording so the the longer your recording the longer also it will take for you to download the video file that's that mp4 and then the Q&A report, this will download all the questions and comments or statements in the Q&A Q box. So it will download all of those. And then if you're going to download the attending engagement report, this will download the, uh, the list of persons uh, who logged in in their Office 365 account and then joined the Teams live event. So for those who log in anonymously, uh, we, we will not be able to see their names here because they logged in as anonymous. So that's why it's important that if you join Teams live event, you are to log on your Office 365 account so that in the attendee engagement report, you will, will be able to see or the organizers will be able to see your name and your official Office 365 account. So if I download this, Okay. Now another thing is if this was uh, the recording for attendees is disabled because uh, when we created the Teams Live event, it was disabled. Now if we wanted our attendees to view the recording directly, this should be enabled as well. So we can change this uh, in the creation of live event. So you you can view uh, you can view that in another tutorial that I have in this YouTube channel. So regarding creating a Teams live event. So let's try to see uh, if our record or the downloads that we have are already available. So here we have the attendee report. This is in CSV format. So like that, so you will be able to see the participant, the full name, the, the date and the action joined. So like that how many times he 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 went off the meeting and then the q and a report will include reports on the questions and comments the q and a like this one so you'll be able to see their messages here like that and for the recording i, I doubt if it's already done yeah, it's done. So the recording is also here. It's available. I'll view it in extra large. So the recording is already available. Then you will be able to upload this again back to Microsoft Stream and share it to your participants. Okay, or just keep it with you or upload it somewhere else. But uh, if you're going to upload this somewhere else, make sure that uh, you have asked permission to all the presenters present uh, in the Teams live event. So... I think that's all on how to download uh, recording, the Q&A report, and attend the engagement report in Teams uh, live event. 
uh, let's try another one this is a teams live event 2 so you just double click it in the calendar then go to the live event resources and then same steps uh, we have a download button here beside the recording q a report and attend the engagement report so that's all that you're going that's all that you need to do uh, to download those kinds of reports in the teams live event so thank you so much and good day again